We are on the air at Suzala. Hooray, hooray. It's the 1st of June. <laughs> it, it, yep. It's Susie Health Solutions, Wenatchee Insurance. You name we it. <laughs> yep. We take care of a whole lot of things. And, and a whole so, lot of people. Yep. And we're going to talk about something that is kind of interesting today. Oh, really? You, you didn't give me any? Any peeks, sneak peeks on this one? So you're, so I'm gonna be as surprised as our audience. I am looking at the leadership trait of sacrifice. Oh, okay. I told you this is gonna be an interesting one. Okay, sacrifice <laughs> the man says. Because if you if you think about it, it's it's one of those traits I I learned uh, through my that time in the service. Okay. Um, you know, like the leadership always eats last. You make sure yeah. you're, you're, you're people. You're, yeah. You you make sure your people are taken care That's of. That's why you know the mom in the Christmas story never had a hot meal. Exactly. That's the kind of leadership you want. Yes. And it's it's one of those ones. It's it's not just leadership. It's friendship. Huh? Because if you think about it, you 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 want that person around you that sometimes says, hey, you know what? You can have the bigger slice of pie. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You know, you don't want the one that's, that's, that's you know, narcissistic and, and self-focused. Super selfish. Yeah, that's not... You don't... Okay, you don't really want that person around you at all. Well, yeah, because if you think about it, you know, if you if you get involved in charities, uh -huh. you'll see that. The selfishness? The, the, you know, is the person willing to make a personal sacrifice or do they have to come on stage in $600 sneakers? Yeah. Yeah. You see that not just charities, but um, sometimes religious organizations, mm -hmm. you know, you've got a lot of um, the, the mega church is a really interesting example of um, the leader, uh, Jerry Falwell and Jim Baker mm -hmm. and all those people who made millions mm -hmm. and millions of dollars for themselves yeah and had mansions and and jets and everything they could ever you know and, and everything they ever wanted and then some well you get into some of the mechanics of, of thievery yeah because if, if they're not sacrificing oh well hey i've got to look good for the peoples so i need this extra uh-huh I need to, you know, take my, I need to take this money and throw a big party for all my friends. Mm -hmm. And that's, that is, you know, a really defining moment. You know, I, I've started looking at this it, like, yeah, you know, who do I surround myself with on a regular basis? Mm -hmm. Do they make sacrifices? I should hope so. Well, it's, it's, it's one of those questions. I, I know you, you're, you're horrible at making sacrifices. I have to prop you up every so often true <laughs> <laughs> um our partner sheila is another one yeah it's like oh yeah i'll have mushrooms on the pizza and i, and I, I come in and see this this big pile of mushrooms like you, could, you could have said something <laughs> we would have been able to do something about that yeah it, but that's that is a a, a a symptom of that personal sacrifice uh -huh. You know, Shayla didn't want to interfere with the the the, the, the off the entire office and made that personal sacrifice. Now, what, to be fair, um, one of my original thoughts was to do a Hawaiian pizza because I know Matt and I mm -hmm. are big fans of Hawaiian. Shayla had eaten. She said, "Well, I've eaten. I eat kind of late, mm -hmm. so I don't know." But then, ooh, pizza! I was like, "Okay," but mm -hmm. she doesn't eat pineapple on pizza. Yeah. And so all I can just pick it off. Well, you pick pineapple off a of pizza, it doesn't matter. The flavor is still there. So I went a different direction yeah. entirely, not realizing that mushrooms were a contextual issue with her. Yeah. What I could have done very easily is had half the pizza mushroomless. Yeah. But she didn't say anything that I don't know if that's sacrifice or just that's sacrifice. That's a symbol of sacrifice. Oh, good. She, she um, sacrificed her comfort for greater good. Yeah. And, 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 and I was willing to sacrifice half my mushrooms on my pizza for the greater good. Exactly. So it's, it's and that's when you run into problems. You got two people who are trying to sacrifice, out sacrifice each other. Uh huh. <laughs> and suddenly, no one's got anything they want. Yeah, and so, and so as leaders, you, you take up and you, you you look at the what's going to be the best choice for everyone. Yeah. And and that's that's kind of what I'm looking at. It's just like yeah, you know, there's been plenty of times where. Where, you know, over the last decade, it's like, 
Yeah, we've had holy underwear. Oh, or, God, yes. Or we've crawled in here at 3 in the morning. Uh-huh. And we're not going to stop doing that. Yeah. And the holy underwear, thank goodness, we can kind of, we don't have to do so much anymore. But, yeah. you know, sometimes we wait because we have the money going into other other sources. Yeah. And, you know? and but that's kind of that defining leadership that we want around us. Mm-hmm. We, we want someone that is not interested in the, in the, hey, you know what? Y'all are cool and all, but I, I need to, you know, come in and I need to, you know, make top dollar. Yeah. Exactly. And it's like, okay, well, what are you willing to do? Well, just the bare, bare minimum. Not in, a, not in a partnership with me, you ain't going to be doing that. And and that's that's kind of, you know, where we've evolved everything, yeah. though, is, is is we, we you know, having that... that 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 give and take and, mm-hmm. and that enrichment of, of of sharing and sacrifice. Yeah. Um, and I, I think that's that's you know it's it's something that you know it's it's we're going to continue to look for. It's like when Nick came to me the you know last night. It's like I need to borrow your sandals for for school. These the sandals he just bought on Sunday. I just bought my. My, you know, your first pair of Birkenstocks in a long time. Yeah, it's been a good three, four years. And you've had perfectly good sandals, mm-hmm. but these were these were these were a style you wanted because they're open toe, open toe. They're 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 just open sandals. You you've had closed toed and not exactly just sort of like just basically open tennis shoes for a while. Yeah, and that's not what you wanted. You wanted Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I wanted some sli- some slide some, ins. some slips to to you know go out on the patio because we got this really rocky patio. Yep. And but the greatest drill sergeant in my life, our son, said, "Hey, I want I want this." He said, "May I borrow them?" May he I asked. Borrow. He asked politely. I'll give him that. Yes. We did try and train him to do that, and you said, "Really? Okay." <laughs> uh, yeah. And, but that's part of, you know, you know, sacrifice because it was for a school project. Yes. He, he, he's got a presentation on the 60s. Yeah. So he got himself a, a hippie style t-shirt and then a hippie style, you know, peace sign necklace and. Sunglasses. He got the John Lennon sunglasses yeah. going on. Yeah. He's all ready to, he's got, already got long hair. Oh Yeah. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so it's like yeah, of course I, I'm. We're going to sac- We're going to make sacrifices. Now that was a small sacrifice. That's a small sacrifice. However, we make those continually small sacrifices uh-huh. for the next generation's success. Yes, that's how it's supposed to work. We have done everything we can to set our son up to succeed. Yeah, and sacrificing is part of it. As a parent, that's part of being a parent. Is sometimes you sacrifice. Not all parents do. You're supposed to. Uh, woulda, shoulda, coulda, didn't. Um, it's 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 one of those things that that if you're if you're ever wondering, are you good parent? There's uh-huh. usually usually oh everyone goes through that. No, not everyone goes through. Okay, that. most people. Everyone I've ever met wonders that. Mm-hmm. Everyone I've met. You've you've, you've met a few that that that. That thought never crosses their that's never crossed their mind. Okay, fair enough. You know, it's it's one of the things that that, that we're we're contending with right now is we have a tendency to want to push our positive attributes to others. Yes, and we expect positive attributes mm-hmm. and are disappointed when their true colors come through. Mm-hmm. It's frustrating. It is frustrating, but that's part of it. It's just like, okay, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice. I'm going to assume everyone else is going to sacrifice. Mm-hmm. I, I I have a tendency to assume that mm-hmm. everyone is, as you know, is is got my. I, I assume the best in people. Yeah. And it's really hard when I get disappointed. <laughs> it is, and it's it's, it's it's one of those things that, that um, I, I I've unfortunately I've been cursed with I, I don't carry the assumption that all people are good I have a tendency to do people are good until they prove otherwise and then sometimes mm-hmm. even after that 
Yeah, you, you, you. I, I, li- I, I, I give people way more grace than they than I probably should. Yeah, and I, I have a tendency to, to, you know, once someone has, you know, proven themselves in that category of, hey, they're going to steal everything they possibly can. It's like, nope, they're out of my life. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's a very important distinction. It's just like, no, I don't go out of my way to, to harm them. I just, they're out of my life. To, and that that's to protect the people around me mm-hmm. uh, because you know I don't need you know, I don't need my son living through that I don't need my wife living through that I don't need my business partners living through that mm-hmm. um, I just nicely remove them not always nicely my love I do my best to be nice um, yes and sometimes it takes some not nicery to get it done <laughs> yes it's 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 one of those things that that yeah you, you when you have that you know you know the, the joke was when 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 my my son was growing up I, w- I would give him a rock and a stick and with those two things he could get all the toys in the world yeah that's because we didn't you know because that's imagination yes and that could also be viewed as brutality oh well yeah I guess. I don't know. I don't think, unless you're beating him with a rock and the stick. Uh, no, that was for the kid that had the rock and the stick. Okay. And then to do the beating. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry. I you, wasn't never, you never, you never, I wasn't, I didn't that. put those pieces together till just now. I'm, yeah. I because was this you, many years old because I'm not that kind of person. It's because you're nice. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Of course, that's one of the things you love about me. Yeah. And that's, that's, you yeah, know, that's important. I, you know, I married someone that was strong enough to throw me against the wall and sweet enough not to do it. <laughs> and you know that makes that makes for for some you know some wonderful times mm-hmm. and we're you know we're going through and it's like okay well how do we how do we make our business better yeah um and that, that's that's where we you know we we do sacrifice on a regular basis mm-hmm. um we sacrifice our time probably mm-hmm. more than anything oh yeah you 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 literally you cannot outspend us on hours no we, we there's there's very little there are almost no days where there isn't something going on that's at least work related in our minds yeah um, i'm actually a little bit better about compartmentalizing than matt is his his you i can kind of put it away for a sunday you can't <laughs> No, no, I, I don't. I, I'm one of those ones that, that is like, there, there's something that's always got to be done to improve. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're in probably, it, it is literally the biggest outreach of our, of our lives. Yeah. And we're doing a major, major set of pros. You know, we're into, we're into Pride Month. Congratulations. It's June. We made it through May. Mm-hmm. Um, happy Pride Month, by the way. And... It's, we are, we have this giant outreach program project mm-hmm. about the great unwinding people lose, you know, people being, um, getting verifications back up on board for their income for Apple health. And that's a huge thing. Um, and it's every month there's going to be, you know, we've got events planned mm-hmm. we've got, uh, videos shoot. <laughs> um, don't remember they had to do another video today yes um we've got videos going out we've got advertising mm-hmm. we are spending money that came in a grant we are spending money that comes out of our own pockets um so there's sacrifice there's we're trying to keep Wenatchee insurance rolling on its, on its happy merry way mm-hmm. with the the property side we're trying to we're, we're and we're Probably not going to get a vacation this year, you know. Yeah, we're going to. We're going to. We're going to. We're, 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 I don't know we'll what we're going to do. This. It's that's a whole other conversation we have to do. But we yeah. we've been trying really hard to get out for a week or so. I'm not sure we're going to get more than a long weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 one of those ones where time is always a premium. Yeah, it's always time. Um, like I said, I can compartmentalize and that's, mm-hmm. I think that's one of the reasons why I can actually usually sleep a full night, whereas it's not easy for you. It sneaks out of your, sneaks into your conscious and, and wakes you up. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, that's where I worry. Yeah. 
And that that's really a, a, a fun statement to say in front of Susie because she's the worrier. It's true. Um, it, whereas the only thing that worries me is, is you know, the business and the, and the momentum of the business. Mm -hmm. um, everything else will, will sort itself out. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, you know, there are points where you've got to worry. Yeah. Everyone. Yeah. Why do you think sometimes I wake up in an anxiety attack? Yeah. <laughs> you never, you don't do that. I'll be, I've been known to do that. I've been wake up in the middle of, I wake up in the morning having an anxiety attack. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it manifests. And I've, I've gotten better mm -hmm. about that. I actually managed that with medication mm -hmm. because it had gotten, it overwhelmed my life. Um, yeah, I think most people don't understand on how stressful running your own business is. Oh, no. No, they don't get it. They think, oh, yeah, you can do whatever you want, whatever you want. Like, no. Every day, every minute is part of running the business. Well, part of it is is, is you you are to, to run a successful business, you are removing safety nets. Yeah, that's true. You don't have the corporate health insurance. You don't have um, the steady paycheck. You don't have. You don't have anyone else to fall back on. Yeah. You, if you have a bad day, well, you're going to lose, lose on production. You're, and you can't blame anyone but yourself. Yeah. And that's, that's part of the, the, the trade-offs. Yeah. That's part of the um, sacrifice. Yeah. Let's, yeah, because and then it's 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 a wild, wild lifestyle. Um, there are definitely benefits for it, but it's different. It is, and so respect your small business owners. They're working their butts yeah, off. Yeah, you. Yeah, and, and that's that's one of those things. It's, it's people give lip service that small business is the backbone of America. Yeah, but from the way I see people treating small business. Mm -hmm. Uh, they don't believe that. No, no. We're generally speaking a pretty selfish group of people in this nation. That's you're supposed to be the positive one. Yeah, well, sorry. <laughs> one of our, our, our biggest myths that we got uh, enlightened on, thanks to the Supernova Project this year, uh -huh. was that, oh, if family members will not necessarily support you and your small business. And I was, it was like a breath of fresh air yeah. when I heard that. It's like, oh my gosh, it's not just me. Because I thought that it was, you know, I was thinking it really personally that my family was being jerky about my business. And it turns out that's a really typical thing. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh, I wonder what drives that. <laughs> Well, let's, let's, let's jealousy, fear. How about the ability to sacrifice? Yeah. Some people can't, some people aren't very, or are they sacrificing, sacrificing in different ways or they're not willing to sacrifice to the level a small business person is. Well, well think about it. You know, if, if, you know, I'm trying to think on, on how to, how to, how to neutralize some of this. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, a little dishes there here. Explain it because we've we've all have had family members that have done that. Huh. Yeah, the, they will throw down. There are there are a thousand different reasons. Some of it is 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 they don't want to share personal information. Yeah, there's because there's a sacrifice of you know of being able to trust. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, at least for, especially from an insurance mm -hmm. standpoint, it, we're, it's a very, this is a very trust-based industry. Oh yeah. This is, this is, this is great. but, but for that, there, there's, a, there's a trust. There's a, there's a trust that you're not going to, you know, blab over the mashed potatoes of Thanksgiving on, on how much someone's making <laughs> or how much they're worth. Yeah. Uh, because in insurance, we're protecting those things. Yeah. And it's, it's why we, you know, do ethics courses in the most ethical people you'll ever meet uh, after so because every two years you gotta you gotta renew your ethics uh -huh. 
Um, and get a refresher course. It's, here's your refresher course. Um, and so it, it becomes ingrained in your system. You operate on a very ethical manner. Yes. Uh, not everybody does. Though. Not everyone does. Um, it's, 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 it's why I, you know, really value my, my insurance peers uh, that are doing it right. Yeah. Um, there was, there was one out, 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 like, Hey, is there any independent agency in, in, in Pacific Northwest? I, I looked at the profile and I was like, yeah, I'm right down the block for your mission. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, it's just like, it's, so that, but there's that, you know, not every family member is willing to sacrifice for you. No, no. The Family's weird that way. The family that you choose are willing to sacrifice that way. That's why way. you choose them. <laughs> and uh, they choose you. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of, it's, 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 that's why that, that trait is just so amazingly important. Because uh -huh. it's that self-sacrifice versus, hey, I'll throw you on the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. you've got wonderful dreams and aspirations. You go do them over there. I'm not going to support you. Yeah. Could be worse. Could be that you've got wonderful dreams and aspirations that I'm going to, and I'm going to actively attempt to crush them. Yeah. I'd rather be neutral, have, have my, have people be neutral towards me than actively try to attack me. Both have their, have their, their advantages and disadvantages. The, the problem with the neutral mm -hmm. is you don't always know what they're, what they're up to. Um, the and the act and the nice thing about and someone who's actively attacking is you know they're actively attacking. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's you know you know do do you like the 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 clan wearing their their pointy sheets and hats or do you, do you like hats? them in their in their civilian clothes? Uh, yeah, that's the nice thing about the clan is you can you can point them out in a group. Um, mm -hmm. And these days they're red mega baseball caps. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I... <laughs> I, yeah, I don't normally get political in this unless it's appropriate, but that still. Well, it, 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 if, you, if you look at it, look at the sacrifice. Oh. Sacrifice versus entitlement. Okay. Uh, in what context? I'm sorry, you lost me there for a second. The whole, the whole politics context. Okay. Oh, okay. So what you've got is, all right, so your Republicans are saying that the Democrats are all entitled and just want all this stuff given to them. And the Democrats are saying that the Republicans are trying to take everything for themselves. And there's not a lot of sacrifice on either side. Well, let's look at it really close. The, the whole motion. Okay. Is, you know, based on you're taking from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And Donald Trump. Democrat. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the progressive moment is, yeah, yeah. hey, let's take these little bits that, that won't be missed. Uh -huh. Leftover chunks. Those little, those little leftover chunks, the ones that are doing really well, and see if we can elevate the ones that are struggling. Yeah. Create the safety net. Equity. Sacrifice a little bit. Yeah. And that is a really clear distinction between the two. Yeah. Your Republicans will not work to elevate somebody else. They will in self-interest. Yeah. Well, okay. And there's, yeah. Well, there you'll look at, you know. And, and that, that's, but only if by elevating somebody else, mm -hmm. they feel like they can get something in return. Yeah. That's, it's not sacrifice. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's not true sacrifice. It's 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 uh, it's qu it's quid pro quo is what it is. Yeah. It's the it's the the pew potatoes or the the posers, the Instagram famous, the virtual the virtue uh, the virtue uh farmers. nonprofits, yeah. yeah. Um and that's really a really distinction. It's like, okay, yeah, there's this you know, we we've seen this. It, this is not a new concept mm -mm. Of, of people. You know, you know, 
putting on this angelic image of, hey, I can do no wrong, mm -hmm. and then just stealing people blind. Which takes me back to our very first part of this part. Uh, podcast where we were talking about the mega churches mm -hmm. and Jerry Falwell and how that's mm -hmm. how you end up stealing from your least, you know, making the most from the least, you know, tithing mm -hmm. is a very common, common thing in churches. Um, giving 10% of your income to the church, yeah. which is your sacrifice mm -hmm. to, you know, for, for the grace of, to, to, to gain the grace of God. Yeah. So you're, you're, your guy who's making $10,000 a year is given 10% of his $10,000. Mm -hmm. And the guy who's running the church is taking that 10% and banking it. And he's a bazillionaire and he's not, and nothing in his, in his realm or world is, elevating that man who just gave 10% of his annual income and is now, you know, eating ramen because <laughs> yeah, he has nothing else. Yeah, good enough. Oh. The importance comes is, is, is the abdicating. Okay, go ahead. You, you can't just abdicate that 10% say, here. you, you know, you know, absolute best. I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, have any yeah, say in it. You can't. You... Um, we, we see that with businesses and that, that's a really good example of not everyone does everything. Yeah. And at the same time, you just can't abdicate all the responsibilities yep. of, of one thing. Nope, you can't give up all the control. You got to be part of it. You've, you've got to, you've got to be a participant. Yeah. Well, we were talking about that yesterday in our supernova, mm -hmm. um, training panel is our expert was talking about abdicating a uh, financial responsibility, giving, giving the check writing, um, check writing abilities to your bookkeeper. Yeah. Which is just setting them up for a disaster. And it was just like, yeah, I've known so many businesses and nonprofits that have been ripped off by the, the treasurer uh -huh. because they've done that. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you've create this, this, this loop of, okay, they're the ones that get the mail. So they know what's coming in mm -hmm. and they know what's going on and they know where it's going instead and of they're going to hide things for years. Oh yeah. And they do. And, and they're not people who are making any kind of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just taking advantage of yours. Yeah. We actually had a, a case of that, uh, level of fraud, mm -hmm. um, and one of the places I worked for. Mm -hmm. And it, it was, it was, it was one of the reasons why I don't have temps. Yeah. Uh, temps are all well and good for, for, for labor. But when you start to deal with financial stuff, you never want temps anywhere near, near, near the materials. Nope. Um, you don't want to give them anything that could be potentially, um, stuff, stuff. You, you want them invested in the, in the actual company right? in the process. Yeah. And, and if you want to bring them on in a mm -hmm. permanent situation, that's after, you know, after their temp temp tenure, then mm -hmm. you can talk about a little more responsibility with that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But the, the, in this case, it, it was, it was a, a temporary that was assigned to the front desk uh -huh. that got all the mail. Uh -huh. And we, we were doing a credit card processing thing. Uh -huh. And they gave them the responsibility to enter the credit card information. Ooh. Yeah. I see where this is going. And and that 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 you know this we're we're talking this this was a multi million dollar contract and they assigned the responsibility of entering credit card information to a temporary worker who they, and they were underpaid that had no background. They were giving a major financial information for tons of people yeah. to somebody who they didn't know. And they were, they were, they, 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 they were threatening the larger contract uh, because what had happened is they, the, that temporary worker and uh, their boyfriend, yeah, uh, decided it was a really smart idea to take those credit card numbers and go on a shopping spree, including pizza. Yep. 
and you know pizza that was delivered to their front door oh god so yeah that, that was that was one of the for the first cases of the, 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 the i i was you know remotely connected to sending someone to jail yeah um because of misappropriations and that's that's why I, I, I treat that stuff just deadly serious like don't play around with other people's money no. don't play around with other people's lives no no that's not okay so yeah that that's that's kind of the we're, we're at 30 minutes so look around you uh-huh. evaluate is is someone willing to sacrifice something for you mm-hmm. and are you willing or to are they back? or are, are you willing to do that sacrifice or is it some, you know, a weird exchange? Yeah, is it a transactional situation? Is it a transactional situation? Yeah. Is it a transactional situation that you're unaware of? <laughs> that's interesting. Because that's where thievery gets that's involved. Right. Oh, by the way, I'm stealing all your stuff. Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah. Here, you, you, you get the, the fame of hanging out with me. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Great great way to enter enter the month look at sacrifice look yeah. on how you're doing it look to see if you've got what it takes to take it take your life to the next level and and do the people around you have that same same intent yep absolutely good way to go good way to happy june everyone happy june